permaculture, the permaculture, that out the permaculture, that getting the permaculture, that out the permaculture. You see this pomegranate? This is a pomegranate. This pomegranate has been sitting, it's been sitting over there, right over there, right there. It's been sitting there since God knows how long. It's probably been like two years. And when I put it there, it was like, you see how it has all these leaves? It had all these fucking leaves on it. And then like, I thought it died. I thought it died because it was looking like this. It didn't have all that green stuff on it. It didn't have any of that green stuff on it. And I come out here today and it's got growth. I swear to you, look at the roots. The roots are showing. The roots are showing right here. It's probably gonna be very easy to take it out the pot. I gotta just lift it up because like, there's no soil in here whatsoever. It's just root bounded. I haven't, I just, I just grabbed it and put it over here. This thing is dead wood. It has dead wood everywhere. So I'm gonna put this in the ground. This is a pomegranate. And I, I got it from my, from my old workplace, my old, a uh, farm I used to work at, I used to like have a bunch of fruit trees that I used to plant. I must have planted probably over like three, over like 30, 40, 50 varieties of, of mangoes, places of tropical fruit trees like star fruit, pomegranates, papayas, bananas, mangoes in particular, and all this exotic fruit. And um, I'm pretty excited to see this uh, pomegranate because I remember me and my boss, we went to this farm. Um, I think it's called Mike. I think it's called Bender's Grove or whatever. It's a dude named Mike who owns it. It's over here in South Florida and, and Southwest Ranch and Southwest Ranches. If you're ever in Southwest Ranches in Florida, um, go to uh, Bender's Grove. Uh, I think it's called Mike's Bender's Grove or something like that. It's, you should. Just, that's. I think that's the name of his website, Bender'sGrove.com or something like that. I can't. I can't remember. Search of it. Search it on Google and you'll find out. But when we were over there, he gave us a pomegranate and I opened up the pomegranate. I bit into it. And I got, I took some seeds and I put them in my pocket. And this is this, this is the seed from that pomegranate that that he grew on his lot. And that's the one that I tasted. And this is a seed from I grew from seed. And this is it right here. And I probably grew it in probably like 2011 to or not 2011. I'm sorry, 2012 or 2013. I think is no, I think it was 2013. And this thing has been in this pot for so long. I swore I thought this plant was dead. I thought this plant was dead because it still has just so much dead wood on it. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna take all this dead wood off. I'm just gonna take all this, all of this dead wood off and keep the green tops and put this in the ground. I'm gonna put this in the ground right now. I'm pretty excited, man, I'm pretty excited. This is the first thing I come out inside and see and I had no idea that this thing was still alive, but I'm gonna put this in the ground immediately so it can survive. So I'll check back. Through, I'll check back with you in a minute. So here it is. The work is done. I planted it in the ground. Pomegranate. I just gave it a good water. Put some compost in it. It's in a good spot. I don't know if you can see it with all that green, but there we go. Maybe here's a better angle. I just trimmed off the dead leaves. I mean the dead bark. So it should grow, it should bounce. It's in the ground now, it's got more than enough room to grow. I added some compost to it. So it should explode. It's still hot. We're starting to enter fall. So maybe, just maybe, this thing will put out some more green. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Peace!